expand and simplify 1 over x squared minus 2x to the fourth power to the uh, fourth degree. So when we're looking at expansion here, if we've got uh, 4 as our exponent up here, we're going to have five terms. We'll start with the coefficients, which we use the combinations. So we're going to have the n value of our combinations. When we look at our n cr, we're going to have our n value before each time, and we're going to count from 0 to 4 on our r value. So we'll place those in. I'll leave some spaces between each one to fill in the, the rest of the terms. But we'll count from our 4c0 up to our 4c4. The next thing I do is I write down the first term and the second term beside each one, and then we'll add our exponents in. So I write 1x squared beside each combination. I do the same with the second term in the binomial. Keeping in mind this is a negative sign, so we include that. I'll put a plus sign between each of these, and we'll determine the signs as we go. Some may change to a negative. Okay. Now let's look at the exponents. The very first exponent starts with 4, and we count down to 0. So on the first term, I'm going to just count 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oops, I forgot to put the last term there. And then on the second term, oh, and this 4 should be inside, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the actual sort of rule or patterns of the exponent. So this counts 4 to 0. You count here, 0 to up to 4. Now we're going to evaluate each one. So 4c0 is 1. So we can replace that with 1 times 1 to the 4 is 1, x to the 8. Anything to the exponent 0 is 1. 4c1, remember if the r value is 1, the n value is um, the answer, so 4, 1 cubed, x to the 6, 2x to the 4, 4c2, four you can use the formula or your calculator to, to evaluate that to get 6, 1 squared is 1 over x to the 4, squaring this, negative 2 squared becomes positive 4, x to the 8, plus 4c3, when r is 1 less than n, the n value is the answer. 1 to the 1, x squared. Negative 2 cubed remains negative, so we have negative 8, x to the 12. 4c4 four is 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. Negative 2 to the 4, we have an even exponent, so we're going to have positive 16, x to the 16. Now let's look and simplify anything we can here. So we've got 1 over x to the 8, 4 times 1 times 2, so we have positive 8, x to the 4 over x to the 6. You're going to have x squared remaining in the denominator, plus 6 times 4, so 24, x to the 8 divided by x to the 4, so you're going to subtract your exponent. 4 times 1 times negative 8, so you're going to get negative 32. x to the 12 divided by x squared, so subtract your exponents again. Plus 1 times 1 times 16, x to the 16. There you have the simplified answer. It is also acceptable to write these with negative exponents, so this could also be written as x to the negative 8 plus 8x to the negative 2, and then remaining... Um, Part of the expansion would be the same.